Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I wanna thank all of you because so many of you have been talking to me about celebrating my brand new book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life, where in this book we explore the Beatitudes. Jesus gave us these nine surprising areas and ways to look at happiness. That word blessed in the Bible means, oh, how happy. And then we marry them with the nine fruit of the Spirit, we all would agree that Paul's list in Galatians chapter 5 gives us a phenomenal uh, understanding of a beautiful life, a happy life. And we all want those things. And we find ultimately that our happiness is happiness is a person. It's Jesus. And, and we really find our happiness when, when we, we, we find our identity in Jesus. And so, you know, I keep talking about the book. And I want to thank so many of you have reviewed the book. You're letting people know about the book. Thank you for doing that. I always tell people I'm the best author that I can be when I'm writing about the things that Jesus said. Like if I if I'm if I'm talking about what Jesus said, then the writing is worth something, you know. And so, but thank you for for reviewing it, and that's really how. And if you haven't reviewed it, please do it. But here's what I want to encourage you today: I want to encourage you to make the choice to ask for God's joy, no matter what's going on. And I, we talk about this in the book that you know it's called crazy happy because we find happiness in surprising places. But it's a choice that you make to get your eyes off of the stuff and onto Jesus. And when you do that, you can find God's happiness in the midst of any circumstance, even the greatest trials, severe persecution. Even though we don't want to experience those things, even if we do experience them, God's joy is our strength in the midst of the hardest things. How beautiful is that? So this way, I want you to share this video because I want everyone to realize that happiness is a choice and it's a choice of choosing Jesus no matter what is going on. And, and I think God wants all of us to be happy in the way that his Bible explains it to us. And in the comment section, I want you to talk about how you're finding joy in Jesus in the midst of challenging circumstances. Tell a, bit, a little bit of your story so that we can be encouraged by the testimony of what God is doing in your life. And God bless you today.